I'm, of course, talking about number five, Curtis Schlandorf. Zombie in the corner. I guess the dog. Is. Oh, here he comes now. He wandered around like he was lost there for a while. Like I say, I'm not too anxious to share the mic with him, but. Hello, Charles. I'm not Charles. You know uh -huh. I'm not Charles. Don't call me Charles. Old man Minkler. Oh, well, I ain't that old either. Let me move my chair just a little bit further away from you because uh, everybody knows we don't get along. What's the matter? You guys can't do your job, so they make me sit down with you hobos again? Well, the only reason you're here is because you know the promoter, pal. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sitting in this chair next to me. I know his old lady real well. Well, yeah, I don't know anything about that. That's between you and him. <laughs> well, your boy's getting kicked around pretty good up there, dog. I ah, sent Jack, good old Jacko Jack Victory Hill up. Star of the Killer Kowalski promotion. Yeah, it out of Massachusetts. I leave those two dumb and dumber over there, and they can't even take care of this on their own. I tell you, you pulled a coup, dog, bringing in Gillette. I don't know how you did that one. Well, the guy's been in the mercenary shadow for so long with the U.S., and I just showed him how and then the, the support in the USA is just a st stupid way to get someplace in this world of wrestling. So we showed him the best way to go. Well, there are a lot of good patriots up here in Newport, Vermont, Slam Dog. Yeah, well, they don't get you the gold. I took Ron Zombie, who's dressed as a nurse, closed every promotion in Connecticut, taught him how to come up here and start wrestling. And now look at him. Rewind that. Well, the rumor around here is you put down the garbage can, Slam Dog, and picked up a tennis racket. Uh, <clears throat> anything truth to these rumors? Well, you go to some real promotions, they get you some real people to work with when you're out getting scouted. Tennis racket, you know, it has a lot more life than a garbage can. So you got to do what you got to do. There's green mountains, and sometimes there's a little smoke in the mountains. Yes, there is. I think these guys are taking this a little too hardcore for a match at this level. It's only a first round. I think Browns is going to be wearing himself out if he plans to get to the finals and meet me. Because well, everyone knows that's where I'm going to be. Well, you know where the gold is, Slam Dog. That's what it's all yeah, about. And it's not around your waist right now. The gold buys you a big old 30-pack. Oh, Tiger Bomb. Is that the great, Ooh. great Monday Night Nitro referee, Scott Dickerson? None other. The, he is the man. The, we all know it. The best in the business, the fastest one, two, three, and the cleanest one, two, three in the business. Just like the bulldog. It's an honor to have him up here, dog. You know, when we had that big controversy on last show, I figured we'd finally get it to work with some of these so-called so -called wrestlers in this league. and. I looked on the uh, tournament tree, and I don't see anyone here. <laughs> well, there are a few that uh, were regulars here for a while that do seem to be missing. You know, they know. all said that I didn't know how to wrestle or anything, and now they had a chance to finally wrestle in a tournament, and they don't come up here. Well, you know, it's a hall, it's a, it's a green mountain, Sam Dog, and it's a big mountain to climb, and some guys just ain't got the speed to get up that mountain. I think that's about all she wrote. Looks like it's all over for this young man. Uh-oh, he's giving him the butt scratcher leg drop. Whoa. Butt scratcher leg drop. That's what we do in the mosh pits in Roseland. That's it. Ron I'll talk Zombie. to you later. Curtis Slam Dog. I can't say it was a pleasure because it wasn't. And the winner is Ron Zombie. The New York Posse strikes again.